Welcome back on our channel, today once again with a short video explaining the various motor connections on the Bosch Smart System. We have chosen a Performance Line CX motor, or rather a KTM Makina Sport 720 with a Performance Line CX motor. And today I'll briefly explain to you what these connections are, what they mean and what you can do with them. The largest connector, perhaps the best place to start, is the connection cable to the battery. This is marked at the top left, where the connection for the power tube battery goes in. Next, we would go from the top to the bottom, from left to right. To the right, in this case circled in black, is the connector for the display cable. This is where you plug in the display cable coming down from the LED remote or Kyox 300. To the right is a freely available power source, the so-called high power port. This is labeled yellow and orange. Additional devices, such as a GPS tracker, an external device, or other accessories, can be connected there. For example, the bush on Muller level can also be connected there and supplied with power. The high power port, abbreviated as HPP, delivers 12 volts and 1 ampere. However, the HPP now has the special feature that it can supply up to 3.5 ampere at peak times. It can supply this for up to 4 seconds, for example for special loads from accessories. Among other things, the Bosch anti-lock braking system is connected there. We are not yet aware of much else that can be connected to it. But this is certainly a connection for the future, for other accessories that can be used with it. We can't wait to see what else is in store for us in the near future. One row further down we have the low power port. This is usually the connection for the speed sensor slim on the smart system. In this case, it is mounted at the rear in the direction of the brake disc. However, this can also be left free if you have an integrated speed sensor on the valve cap. So far, there are still relatively few mountain bikes that have the speed sensor integrated here, and then the speed is measured directly at the motor. Then this will also be available, and you can also freely assign it. This supplies 12 volts and 1 ampere as well. To the right, with the blue marking, is the connection for the front light. With the original Bosch front light cable, you can also operate a headlight there. And further to the right, with red sheathing, is the connection for the rear light. This can also be used to mount and control the rear light with an additional cable. In some cases, the ports must be enabled first, so you would have to visit a specialist dealer. If you have something connected and it is not working, the first diagnosis would be to go back to the specialist dealer, and check whether the ports are really enabled, and whether they are enabled with full power. In this case, I now put everything back in its original place after demonstrating how it works. It is important that you use these small dummy plugs if any ports remain free. Usually this is also done by the manufacturer. You should always put these on the free ports, so that they are well protected against corrosion, to ensure that you can enjoy your electric bike for a longer period of time. If they are ever lost, check our shop where you can easily purchase replacements. This is a quick overview of what all the connections are for. You can find all the original cables in our shop. If you ever have a cable break or want to retrofit something, feel free to take a look there. If you have any questions, please contact our customer service or simply post them in the comments. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.